Uh, in the previous game, we had a lot of complaints about people who were prone and they'd say, well, grenade landed near me, I need to get up, start running. So we've taken that feedback into account. So now you just start sprinting while prone, you get up into a crouch sprint, start moving, let go, you're back down and prone, ready to go. We've also, as you might have seen there, optimized our machine gun deploy. As soon as you go prone, your machine gun immediately goes to the deployed state. So there's just one less click for the user to do. Simplified it, optimized it. Now the uh, player will also automatically pick up the machine gun and replace it when moving around. No need to undeploy. One of the cool new things we've just recently added in with the light machine guns, and I'll show this again with our heavy machine gun system, is in the old game, once user was deployed, if they wanted to reload or uh, change the barrel of their, oop, wrong button, change the barrel of their mag uh, machine gun, they had to, either had to stay deployed and uh, be exposed, or they had to undeploy, go prone, redeploy, do all that, come back up, and then deploy again. This time we've added a new feature which we think people will really like, where you just crouch while staying deployed and you can go ahead and check your ammo, reload, immediately pop back up and keep going on with the fight. What I'm going to be demoing here for you is our new heavy machine gun system and give you an explanation of how it works and I'm also going to cheat a little bit and show you suppression. But as you can see here, this is a heavy machine gun mounted on a tripod. We just recently fully implemented them in game. Player walks up to them, hits use and attaches. Like with light machine guns, the player can crouch behind it and even blind fire these devices. But uh, these are a new terror to the battlefield that gives the enemy team something to uh, shoot at. And uh, a sniper is a new primary target to take out because a uh, skilled man on one of these can quickly uh, dominate the battlefield. How these machine guns work is our mappers place them throughout the maps as they uh, deem fit, and but they're not always in every location. The uh, map will uh, determine on load which ones it wants to spawn, which one it doesn't, so you never know where exactly they will be every time. Like there's another location right down there where there is also a heavy machine gun in place, and there's one up here, so these are probably the two the map decided to spawn for the German team this time around. How the suppression system works is bullets that pass around the player or even impact near the player, let's say if you're in a window, rounds that are impacting the sides of that window will count towards suppression. And uh, suppression, as you'll see, will desaturate the screen and has some other effects, makes the recoil a little bit harder to manage, and so it just helps prevent uh, players from instantly popping up and shooting back at somebody who's uh, laying down fire on them, especially at range. It's especially useful for machine gunners and some of the uh, classes with larger caliber weapons. I need a couple more shots. There we go. Here you can see the suppression effect there and you start to hear the uh, sound of my heartbeat. That lets you know you're uh, being suppressed as the screen desaturates. As I pull up the tactical menu here, you will see a suppression bar. As that goes down to fully suppressed, it becomes harder and harder for players to actually effectively return fire. And as you can hear, my heartbeat's beating pretty heavily. And the counter for this is players who uh, enter cover will regain suppression, uh, their suppression bar faster and as well as be less, uh, have a little bit less suppression on them. So it gives, another, uh, gives players another reason to stick their heads down and stay in cover. So you can see it's coming back up when I'm not being shot at pretty quickly here. As I'm sure we've told you before, our tanks take about three months to produce one tank. So that's why we're only going to be shipping with two, the T-34 and the Panzer IV. However, because of that, we have a fully realized interior with uh, crew that are fully animated and do their jobs. As you can see here, I'm going to start driving. And the crew member is going to be doing his job. We have interaction points around the tank that you can, as you can see here, there's a little icon.